this IRS scam is a little different. I've never seen one like this before, so I thought I'd record a little intro to it. They um, apparently help you if you're already in debt with the IRS. They asked me for an email address, but I wasn't prepared for that, so I didn't have an email address ready to give them. I wish I had of, because I want to see the information that they're going to email me, and they're supposed to call me back tomorrow. So I wonder how that's going to play out. Um, enjoy the video. Hello? Yeah, I had a missed call from Social Security today. Uh, yes, sir. Glad to have you on the line. I just called you earlier. How are you doing today? I'm, um, I'm doing pretty good. I'm just curious what the phone call is about. Okay. Uh, all right. So let me explain it to you. My name is Sheldon and I'm a tax advocate. I'm calling you from the Taxpayers Advocates Group, which is licensed by the U.S. Department of Treasury. Okay, I was just trying to help you out with a tax assistance. Are you facing any kind of tax problems where I can help you with? Uh, you're kind of breaking up. Hello? I didn't get that. What are you trying to help me with? Yeah, you're kind of breaking yeah, up. Uh, I didn't I'm... get that. What are you trying to help me with? Yes, sir. Uh, my, I was telling you that my name is Sheldon and I'm a tax advocate licensed by the U.S. Department of Treasury. So I was just trying to help you out with your taxes. Are you facing any, any kind of tax problems where I can help you out with? I... I am. I actually owe the government $25,000, and it's been kind of hard trying to pay them back. Okay. So, like, which which year's amount that you owe to the IRS? Or is that for 2019 or, like, any past year? Um, It's actually from uh, 2017. I see. All right. So, I can yeah, go um, ahead and help you out. So like, what I can do for you is, like, I will be filling an application, and I'll be processing your tax case. To one of my senior okay. case advocates, so he will analyze your taxes, he will investigate on them, and he will directly come and explain to you how we will be working on your taxes. At that point of time, you can decide whether you want to go for this free help or not. Until then, you're under no obligation to accept the IRS okay. offer. And uh, this is of no cost to you. So, like, you won't, we won't be charging you any kind of money since this is a government income-based program. Okay. All right. That sounds good. So. Like, yeah, so as of now, like, are you on any kind of payment plan directly with the IRS? Did you sign for any legal documents for a payment plan with them? Um, I had a payment plan with them, but I was unable to keep up the payment plan. So I haven't okay. been sending them any money uh, here lately. Times have been kind of tough. Okay, so, like, all right, not an issue. So, like, what I can do for you is how I can help you is, like, I will directly go ahead and talk to the IRS that you cannot afford to pay the taxes and we will surely try to off your penalties and the bad debts which you have. So, if it is a huge amount, like $25,000, we will surely make, uh, we will cut down your tax amount, okay? And is there any email address that you, yeah, so is there any email address that you use so that I can uh, email you down all your necessary documents and also your transcripts? and also an official enrollment form. If you do have an yes. email ID, could you help me out with it, please? Yeah, so it's just my name. It's Jimmy Hoffa at okay. gmail.com. Could, I mean, could you spell the next one? It's J-I-M-M-Y and? Yeah, H-O-F-F-A at gmail.com. At gmail.com, okay. Yes. So we yes, can sir. mail you down all the documents. Yeah, so we can mail you down all the documents to this uh, email ID, right? Yes, sir. All right, wonderful. And uh, so, sir, as I told you, I'll be filling an application for you. As of now, I, I would need some of your basic information, which is required in the enrollment form, okay? Okay. Well, you know it's Jimmy Jimmy Hoffa. Jimmy Hoffa, right. So, is there any middle name or initial to be added there, or is, is this your first and your last name? That's my first and last name. I don't have a middle name. My parents were kind of lazy. Okay. Perfect. Got it here. And what is your marital status, Jimmy, as of now? Like, are you married or single currently? I'm I'm divorced. Okay, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, sorry, okay. she was a I bitch. Know. So, like, what is your employment status? Are you a self-employed, or, or or are you a wage earner, or retired? What um, is your employment status currently? I I own a construction company, so I guess technically you I'm own... self-employed. But uh, I'm uh I work for my construction company. You are a self-employed, and you work for the construction company. All right, perfect. Yeah. Got it here. Thank you so much for providing that information. And what is your date of birth, Jimmy? Yes, so it's uh, September 23rd, 1987. 20, September 23rd, 1987, right? Yes. Okay. 
All right. And he was belated wishes, so. I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. Okay, you, you just told me that your birthday was September 23rd, 1980. I mean, uh, se September 23rd, 1987, right? Yes, right. Okay, but I, I thought it was October. I'm sorry. So, um, uh, Jimmy, I can also mail you down all the documents to your mailing address. Okay, is there any uh, any specific like PO box to mail you or any mailing address where you want me to mail you down yeah. all your transcripts? Yeah, what is yeah, your mailing? Give you my house the... I can give you my house address. It's uh twenty twenty one yeah, twenty twenty one Tanglewood uh -huh. Drive, Waldorf. Tangle, it's T A N Okay, uh, it's T A N G E L, is it? Tangle. Yeah, Tangle Wood, it's all one word about. Uh huh. Drive, and that's in Waldorf, right. Maryland. And the zip code's two oh oh one. Two oh six oh one. And is there any apartment or a unit number to be added there or is this in house? No, nah, it's a townhouse. It's a house, okay. So we will be mailing you down all the documents to this mailing address, okay? So you can go ahead and have a look at it over there so that you will uh, okay. get a clear description about your taxes. So I'll just repeat your address, sir. It is 2021 Tangleworth Drive, Maryland 20601, correct? Right. Um, what will be the company okay. name on the outside of the envelope? Yeah, the company name is Tax Relief, sir, and we work for the Fresh Start program, which is initiated by the IRS. Okay, that sounds good. But seems to be the address which you have given me is an invalid address. Did Did you Did uh, you I'm, spell I'm Tanglewood? Did Did you spell Tanglewood as one word or two words? Okay, Tanglewood no, sir, like is one word. I, now you got to no, check it again. You just give me one moment, just give me one moment. Stay on the line, sir, just the, one moment, okay? The zip code is 20601. <laughs> yeah, the zip code which you have given me, the 20601, right? Yeah, that's yeah. Waldorf, Maryland. Could you spell me your street, please? I mean, the avenue, please. I guess I have got a wrong number. Could you spell me the avenue? Like, which drive is that? 2021. It's not Tanglewood Drive, so it's T A um, G L E. W O O D, all one word. Okay, it's one word. Got it here now. Perfect. So it's two zero two one Tangle O Drive. Uh, what that is W A L D O R F, the city and Maryland two zero six zero one. Correct. Yes. Wonderful, sir. So thank you so much. So we will be mailing you down all the documents to this mailing address, and now uh, you can have a look at it. Okay, you will get a clear description and. You're facing only the federal taxes, not the state one, right? You're dealing only with the federal yeah. one, correct? Only, fe okay. only federal, okay. yeah. I've always taken care of my right. state taxes. Perfect, Jimmy. So, uh, Jimmy, I have gone ahead and filled an application for you as of now, so I will be immediately processing your tax file to one of my managers, and he will analyze your taxes, and he will go ahead and explain to the IRS about your situation, and he will surely come up with the best resolution for you. He will directly come and meet you. He will personally explain you, like, what is the issue, like, how we can go ahead and resolve your tax issues, and he will cut down your amount, and he will come up with the best amount which will be available for you. Okay? Okay. That, and, that and since awful. you told me that, okay, thank you so much. And since you told me that you owe a construction company, just could you help me out with your approximate monthly income? What is, what do you make in a in a month? Well, you know, it all depends on how much business we have. But here lately, I've been making about ten thousand dollars a month. Ten thousand dollars a month. So I just this is just an approximate figure, sir, because it is a mandatory question which is required in the enrollment form. That is the reason I just wanted to ask you. Okay. So, uh, Jimmy, yeah, I'm no almost done with the call. Yeah, I'm almost done with the call, Jimmy. I will also be putting you across to an IVR, which is a voice recording system. It will be explaining you, like, how we will be working on your taxes. So I request to listen okay. to the IVR very carefully. And uh, before that, I just want one more, like, I just need to tell you that we need to pull out your transcripts from past 5 to 10 years. We will be pulling out your transcripts and we will be mailing it to your house address directly from the IRS. So for us to pull out okay. your transcript, we need your, we need your complete social security number. Could you help me out with that, please? Yeah, so it's uh two one two fifteen uh -huh. seventy seventy one. Okay, I'll just repeat that it's two one two one five seven zero seven one, correct? Correct. It's you one guys five, need right? My, uh, yeah, one five. You guys need my uh cell phone number too? 
No, no, no. Is this the best number to reach you? It's 732-948-7790. Or earlier I called you. That is the best no. number. Which number is, yeah, this, which number is the best this, number? This really, isn't, this really isn't the best number. This is uh, my work uh, number. And sometimes after business okay, hours, yeah. I don't answer it. I can give you my cell phone okay, number. So you, yeah, what is the cell phone number, please? It's 424-226-622. Uh, Okay, and is there any best time to call you because one of my managers will be contacting you tomorrow? So you want him to call you in any specific time or any time would be fine? Um, can we, uh, any time after like 3.30 uh, East Coast time? 3.30 at East Coast time, right? Right. All right. Wonderful. So I will just inform about this to him so that he will call you after 3.30 in the East Coast time, okay? So it's time to put you across to an good. IVR, Jimmy. So I just request... I just request you to listen to the IVR very carefully because it will be explaining you about your taxes. And also, Jimmy, the IVR will be asking for your name to register your voice. So at that point of time, you need to tell your full name and the last four digits of your social security number, which is 7071. As in when it asks, please yes. be a bit clear and loud, okay? Since it is a mission, it needs okay. to capture. So be a bit clear and loud. Here we go, uh, Jimmy. Right. One moment. I'm going to take you across to an IVR. All right. Please say your full name. Jimmy Hoffa. Thank you. By providing your voice signature, you authorize Taxpayers' Rights Advocacy Group, its assigns, and its enrolled agent to perform the following acts with respect to your tax case. To receive and inspect your confidential tax information from the IRS and state records from the past 10 years. To stop any enforcement action from the IRS if possible. To enforce all provisions of the Taxpayer's Bill of Rights by the immediate filing of Form 2848 to the IRS. To generate an IRS tax forensics analysis report. Provide a professional analysis of your financial situation for the final determination of the best resolution available by law to represent you before the IRS and state tax authorities and to sign any agreements, consents, tax returns, or similar documents to resolve your tax case. Charge amounts owed for a tax forensics investigation and any addendums needed for final resolution from the credit debit card or any other type of payment agreed upon. Okay, now we're going to ask for your voice signature. Please say your full name. Jimmy Hoffa. Hello, Jimmy. I'm sorry, Jimmy. The line disconnected. Jimmy, you need to be a bit uh, fast, Jimmy, because it is a mission. So it won't wait for you. Okay. As soon as the mission asks your name, you need to tell it. So I'm going to put you across, I mean, I'm going to put you across the IVR once again. Can we do it now? It will take 30 seconds okay. of your time. Okay. Yeah. I'll do it so quicker. Sorry, one moment. Okay. Yeah. No problem. Please say your full name. Jimmy Hoppe. Thank you. By providing your voice signature, you authorize Taxpayers' Rights Advocacy Group, its assigns, and its enrolled agent to perform the following acts with respect to your tax case. To receive and inspect your confidential tax information from the IRS and state records from the past 10 years. To stop any enforcement action from the IRS if possible. To enforce all provisions of the Taxpayers' Bill of Rights by the immediate filing of Form 2848 to the IRS to generate an IRS tax forensics analysis report, to provide a professional analysis of your financial situation for the final determination of the best resolution available by law, to represent you before the IRS and state tax authorities, and to sign any agreements, consents, tax returns, or similar documents to resolve your tax case. Charge amounts owed for a tax forensics investigation and any addendums needed for final resolution from the credit debit card or any other type of payment agreed upon. Okay, now we're going to ask for your voice signature. Please say your full name. Jimmy Hoffa. Please say the last four digits of your social security number. 7071. Thank you again. Your voice signature has now been successfully recorded and executed, and all documents will be emailed to you. You will now be transferred back to your advocate. Oh, yeah, Jimmy. I do appreciate your time and patience. Thank you so much. We are successfully done with the voice recording. So, uh, Jimmy, we will be right. emailing you down all the documents to your email, ad email ID, which you have given me, which is Jimmy Jose at gmail.com, okay? So, once, once yeah. we are done, just uh, go into your email and have a look at it. And uh, this okay. is your best number, right? To read to it's four two four two two six 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 two two, correct? Yes, sir. 
Wonderful. Thank you so much for your time and patience, Jimmy. If if there is anything further, I'll just contact you. Okay. Do remember me. My name okay. is Sheldon. Yeah, like from uh, is, the name, Big Bang Theory. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Thank you so much, uh, Jimmy. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye. You too.